what I tell people is clinical experience is, is not even optional. Clinical exposure, and I don't like to call it experience because as pre-meds in the United States, it's basically impossible to have an experience where you're really getting, you know, to get, you're allowed to talk to and touch patients, okay, for, for obvious reasons. But really clinical exposure is something that basically is required for medical school. I consider it a prerequisite, okay, because you are not going to be looked upon seriously if you haven't had exposure to the healthcare field, okay. Um, ideally, I like people to get exposure domestically, so here in the United States, all right. Sometimes people think it's very sort of glamorous and appealing to do um, work abroad, and, and yes, that's terrific to sort of have an understanding of how medicine is practiced in other countries and to, you know, get some global health experience, but really, where are you going to be practicing medicine probably for most of your life? You're going to be practicing it domestically in the United States, so understanding how medicine is practiced here is really essential and is really expected by a admissions committees. So that can be accomplished in several ways. Shadowing is the most common way that students learn about clinical medicine. And I, I like students to try to get exposure in different settings and, and in different specialties. So try to get exposure in a hospital. Try to get exposure in an outpatient setting. Try to shadow an anesthesiologist in the OR and then shadow a pediatrician um, you know, in the office. So, so the, the key is diverse exposures so you really understand what it means to be a doctor. Because practicing in different areas, practicing in different settings is, is completely you know, different. So if you're practicing in, in an academic hospital, you're going to be practicing medicine in a very different way than someone who's practicing medicine in, in a rural area or in a suburban outpatient setting. Right. Um, the other way that sometimes people can get exposure is by being an EMT, if you have the time. Right. Um, the other way is through clinical research, and you know, and in that way, you not only are you doing research, but you're also gaining exposure. You're interviewing patients. You're probably working in a hospital. Through that, you can then shadow physicians. Um, sometimes, if people are taking a gap year, you can be a medical assistant. Um, that's something. The other terrific option, if if you're taking a gap year, and many students do take gap years now simply because it is so, so difficult to fit in all your prerequisites as, as, as well as all of your activities within four years. Um, so another thing that is terrific to do is to scribe, right, to become a scribe. You're essentially shadowing a physician. You're taking medical histories. You know, there are emergency departments use scribes. So you're, you're seeing tons and tons of different specialties practiced in medicine. So that's a great way to get exposure. Okay, but, but there, there's no question that clinical exposure is required. 